My name is Lucas. I am Suhei's husband. I am a physician and a radiologist. And for those of you that aren't aware, my wife was diagnosed about a year ago now with autism. And people may be thinking to themselves right now, uh, well, you're a doctor. Uh, she just got diagnosed a year ago. Uh, how come you didn't diagnose her earlier? Fair question. Uh, because that was not on my radar at all, is the simple answer. And the reason being is because, you know, when I learned about autism in medical school, it was typically in young boys, you know, and young boys who they had specific uh, characteristics, right? Uh, some of them would not be able to make eye contact, got fixated with objects, or just had difficulty with social situations in general. Uh, but I really don't even remember learning that women could have autism in the first place. Uh, clearly, we've come a long way with our knowledge of autism, and uh, that's how she was able to get this diagnosis. And the other reason is because she was good at masking. Any characteristics that she had, she was just very good at hiding them. So it was really mind-blowing for me personally to think that my wife had autism, only because it just was not on my radar at all. But what I do remember about my wife is that when I first met her, she had this beautiful mane of curly blonde hair. She had a, an incredible smile too. And she was very well put together outside of being beautiful. And what really stuck with me also was the way that she interacted with people. It was just very kind and, you know, very open, free with her time, just talking to everybody. She was not pretentious or stuck up like some other beautiful woman that I had met in the past. So, it was very different from any other woman that I had met. You know, the more I got to know her, the more I realized that this was not just an anomaly amongst women. This was an anomaly of any other person that I'd ever met in my life. Uh, because even the conversations that we had, you know, from the get-go were very deep. We actually had meaningful conversations, uh, not just the superficial stuff. We skipped right past that. And that was really cool. Because she wasn't just beautiful. Uh, she was highly organized and still very creative also. And that came out in everything she did, the way that she dressed, the way that uh, she decorated everything. It was, you know, it was very fascinating to me. And when it comes to organization, I, on the other hand, am, was not very organized. Uh, we first got together, I was in medical school. I was just starting medical school, as a matter of fact, and I had the task of doing the bills. So my uh, method of doing bills was just, when we get a bill, throw it in a pile and I'll get to it when I get to it. Clearly not the best method for anyone. I wouldn't recommend it uh, because things slip through the cracks. And that's exactly what happened. You know, a few things were uh, delayed or they were late or I'd miss a payment altogether. It did not go well. And Sue said, you know what? Let me just take this over so I can see that you're struggling. Very kind of her to do. But what she did kind of blew me away because she literally just immediately jumped on the computer, made an Excel spreadsheet, had different columns for all the bills and even check boxes for when things were paid, had our income and expenses, and everything was just laid out perfectly so that not only would she never miss a bill, she would always know when the, uh, the bills were being paid and have a running balance of our income versus expenses. So highly organized. It's like, okay, that's cool because that's nothing that I would ever think of doing. And really, this, this degree of thought and planning went into every aspect of her life. There wasn't anything that wasn't done to this degree. Because, for example, her car was always immaculate. Our home was always clean and tidy and even very well decorated to boot because that's where that creative piece comes in. If she had something to do, like for example, if she uh, was going to a new job, she would uh, basically go take the route, make sure she knew the, the route, where she was going to park, where the entrance was, have everything laid out like her clothes and accessories so that when the day came, when she was ready to do these things, everything was already thought through and ready to go. 
which again was pretty amazing to me because I had never seen anyone like that. She always had an attention to detail, really in every aspect of things. And she was very specific on how she did things. And in this range, of course, from the way that she cleaned to the way that she organized her clothes and the way she wore her clothes, all these things were very detail oriented. And when it came to like a process of cleaning, for example, she always thought through the process and determined the most efficient and effective way of doing something. And then that's how she would do it. You know, some people, I think it's our tendency, right? To just, excuse me, I'll speak for myself. It's my tendency sometimes to just get lazy. It's like, ah, oh, you know, I'll just do, I'll do it quick. And, but that's never the case with Suhei. She always takes the time to make sure that everything is done. Because when she determines that it's the right way to do it, she will literally do it that way every single time. That's just how she operates. When people talk to me there, say, oh yeah, you know, you're a doctor, so you must be smart. And I would literally always say, uh, actually, Suhei's smarter than me, you know. And I genuinely meant that when I said it too. And the reason I say that and mean it is because of the way that her brain works, the way that it functions. Um, like if there's a, a problem that we're dealing with or we're trying to figure out what, how to do something or what the outcome is going to be, she looks at a situation or a problem from every single angle. And then she goes about 20 steps forward and can already kind of perceive what the outcome is likely going to be. And, you know, this has been over time uh, tested, this ability of hers to just kind of almost like predict what the outcome is going to be or predict how someone is going to respond. And she's accurate for a very, with a very high degree of accuracy. And that's why I came to the conclusion that she's smarter than me because my brain does not have that capability. Like, you know, I can get about maybe two or three steps, uh, but I really can't do this analysis the way that she does. And it's mind boggling to me. So that's why I was told people and being very honest that yes, she is smarter than me. Just going through that process and determining the outcome, that's, that's really her forte. The kicker was that, you know, it was, we come to find out why, why does she think this way? Why does she have this skill set and ability that most people don't have? It's because she's autistic. Some people, when we first found out this diagnosis and we told them, uh, they felt sorry for her uh, because they saw it as, I guess, a type of burden. Um, but, you know, for, for her personally, we know many people have different uh, experiences with, with being diagnosed, but for her personally, it was liberating. It was literally that final puzzle piece that was missing that allowed her to put everything into perspective. Because she had always known she was different from, from a very young age. From she, you know, she told me that she felt different. And she never knew why. But, and it was literally because she just thinks differently than most individuals on this planet. She is neurodivergent or autistic. So for her, it was, this was something that was a landmark, really, in a very positive way. My goal in making these videos is to celebrate or highlight the positive things related to autism because I feel like there really are many positives and to enlighten other people who may not know about these things the same way that I, even as a physician, didn't get this type of education about autism. So that's, that's my goal. Of course, this is just my perspective of someone who's lived with uh, someone with autism for about 18 years now, so it's not all-inclusive or you know, exclusive. There are certainly many things that I'm still learning as well. The other thing is, you know, it's, it's not to say that everything is perfect 100% of the time, right? I think that goes without saying, doesn't it? Everybody has problems. There's always bumps in the road. There's always issues to some degree. But when you have insight and understanding into uh, one another, specifically as marriage mates, but even just dealing with other people, it helps you to uh, be able to interact more effectively. When it goes both ways, it's incredibly beneficial to, to helping uh, that understanding between two individuals. One of the things that I'm really looking forward to is sharing with you how my autistic wife helped me to achieve a near perfect credit score. But I look forward to sharing my insight and experiences with all of you in the very near future. Uh, so I'll see you soon.